when trying to challenge as they come now to the last. Buyer beware, Roger Lochran from Solar Heat and Donna Myler on the near side. There's a couple of lengths between them rounding the home turn and it's Buyer beware opening up now a four length advantage turning for home. Solar Heat second, Solar Heat and turn is clear of in third place off the bend is Rima but up towards the finish it's Buyer beware from Solar Heat still three lengths between them and Buyer beware making his first start here for trainer Gordon Elliott, a winning one, as Buyer Beware and Roger Lochran beat Solar Heat to Rima, plain talking. Turning for home, Solar Heat second, Solar Heat and turn is clear of in third place off the bend is Rima, but up towards the finish, it's Buyer Beware from Solar Heat, still three lengths between them, and Buyer Beware making his First start here for trainer Gordon Elliott, a winning one, as Buyer Beware and Roger Lochran beat Solar Heat to Rima, plain talking, and then on top of the world and the long-time leader, Rise of an Empire. and Midnight Theatre is trying to beat them off here, coming towards the final flight and jumped it well, asked the ledge and hit it very hard, lost second to Steele's Cotton, racing round the home turn now, and it's Midnight Theatre who straightens up, three lengths clear Steele's Cotton is second and these two have shrugged off the others as they race up the hill to the final 100 yards, and it's Midnight Theatre keeping on gamely here Steele's Cotton is still trying hard but up towards the line, Midnight Theatre all the way, and another winner for Luke Dempsey and Gavin Cromwell steals Cotton second and Milan Dancer came again in the closing stages for third and then Swift. Steals Cotton is second and these two have shrugged off the others as they race up the hill to the final 100 yards and it's Midnight Theatre keeping on gamely here. Steals Cotton is still trying hard but up towards the line. Midnight Theatre all the way and another winner for Luke Dempsey and Gavin Cromwell. Steals Cotton second and Milan Dancer came again in the closing stages for third and then Swift. So Clonlini picks it up now, coming to the final flight, and is over nicely clear. Scenic star, Minalta is running on on the outside with Hoodoo Brown, and then Shrewd Move and Benarty Hill, but Clonlini is out in front. Racing round the home turn, Clonlini from Minalta, and on the inside is Hoodoo Brown. It rests between these three now with 150 yards to go. Clonlini with Minalta putting down a strong challenge on the near side, and is getting up. Minalta and Ben Dalton for the McDonough's has ward down late. Clonlini Hoodoo Brown, so Clonlini picks it up now, coming to the final flight and is over nicely clear Scenic Star, Minalta is running on on the outside with Hoodoo Brown and then Shrewd Move and Benarty Hill but Clonlini is out in front, racing round the home turn, Clonlini from Minalta and on the inside is Hoodoo Brown, it rests between these three now with 150 yards to go Clonlini with Minalta putting down a strong challenge on the near side and is getting up, Minalta and Ben Dalton for the McDonough's has Ward down late, Clonlini, Hoodoo Brown, and they're clear of Shabras Bertolini, Benarty Hill, Shrewd Move, and Scenic Star. At the second last fence, it's Point View Gale, the leader, over safely with La Grande Chaine now going off in pursuit. Line View and Personal Shopper come next, and La Grande Chaine has come now to join issue with Point View Gale. Point View Gale still has the advantage, racing round the home turn. Point View Gale in the lead from La Grande Chaine, who's changed towards the near side, then Personal Shopper. Line View, the Shepherd King, up the hill they come, and little to choose between Point View Gale with La Grande Chaine on the near side now, big getting to find more close home and Lagrange Chen driven out by Brian Cooper provides Gordon Elliott with a double at the second last fence it's Point View Gale the leader over safely with Lagrange Chen now going off in pursuit Line View and Personal Shopper come next and Lagrange Chen has come now to join issue with Point View Gale Point View Gale still has the advantage racing round the home turn Point View Gale in the lead from Lagrange Chen who's changed towards the near side then Personal Shopper Line View the Shepherd King up the hill they come and little to choose between Point View Gale with La Grande Chaine on the near side now beginning to find more close home and La Grande Chaine driven out by Brian Cooper provides Gordon Elliott with a double Point View Gale second, Line View third tight fourth and fifth 
involved for those placings, personal shopper and the Shepherd King. Racing now towards the second last. A minute bad from Buck Dancing and the Winkler. Over the second last, a minute bad. Peck badly. Racing now to the final fence, but still has the advantage from Buck Dancing and the Winkler. As they come now to the last, it's a minute bad with the Winkler on the near side. And the Winkler now is throwing down a strong challenge to a minute bad. They've shaken off the attentions of Buck Dancing. Now the hill, and it's the Winkler and Dana Myler who have got the better of a minute bad. Back in third place is Buck Dancing with Waltz Legend, and up towards the finish, the Winkler runner-up on no less than five occasions over fences, gains the el elusive breakthrough over fences, clearly from Aminabad, Waltz Legend and Buck Dancing. Now the hill, and it's the Winkler and Dana Myler who have got the better of Aminabad. Back in third place is Buck Dancing with Waltz Legend, and up towards the finish, the Winkler, runner-up on no less than five occasions over fences, gains the el elusive breakthrough over fences, clearly from Aminabad, Waltz Legend and Buck Dancing. And these two have gone away from Oscar Etoile with in fourth place Bingo Conti ahead of Jimmy Breaky as they round the home turn. Furling and a half to go and Bell Sass quickens to the front and goes on now by three four lengths rounding the final bend and it's Bell Sass and Patrick Mullins going right away up the hill. From there you go. They're clear from Jimmy Breaky who's moved into a remote third ahead of Oscar Etoile but running up towards the finish Bell Sass dispels a disappointing effort last time and is coming home. A clear cut winner 10, 12 lengths, Jimmy Breaky from the back second and third is there you go then Oscar Etoil and Bingo Conti is fifth. Furling and a half to go and Bell Sass quickens to the front and goes on now by three, four lengths rounding the final bend and it's Bell Sass and Patrick Mullins going right away up the hill, from there you go they're clear from Jimmy Breaky who's moved into a remote third ahead of Oscar Etoil but running up towards the finish, Bell Sass dispels a disappointing effort last time and is coming home a clear cut winner, 10, 12 lengths Jimmy Breaky from the back second and third is there you go, then Oscar Etoil and Bingo Conti is fifth